uh, this is the, the main part of today's lesson. Uh, we're going to talk about what does a solution mean for an equation? Actually, you, you already may know about this, but I'm going to make this very simple. On the last, uh, like two weeks ago, uh, we were doing evaluating expressions practices, right? What does it mean evaluating expressions practices? So actually, opposite of evaluating expression, it's just solving an equation. It's like these are related to each other very much. It's just the, like one is doing uh, going to the right, the other one is going to the left. Let me explain this uh, with examples. If we take a look uh, on the evaluating expression, if you guys remember, in the evaluating expression, always variable is equal to something, right? In this case, the variable f is equal 8. Variable w is equal 3. Uh, if variable is equal to something in the expression, we were trying to replace that variable, the value of that variable, which is 8. f is 8. That's why instead of saying f minus 5, I'm going to replace the value for f uh, with 8 and subtract it from 5. Subtract, subtract 5. Okay, so that will become three. On the next example, it's the same thing. So expression is three W plus four. So instead of three W, I'm gonna write it down empty parentheses plus four. Instead of W, I was uh, like, we were replacing that variable with the value of that W, which is three. And then you basically need to simplify. Three times three, that would become nine. And plus four, that will become 13, okay? So this was the meaning of evaluating expression. We always try to figure out what expression is equal to, like in the evaluating expression. Like for example, F minus five is equal to what? Uh, three W plus four is equal to what? By using the value for variables, okay? But solution of equation or solving an equation, it's kind of going opposite way. This time, if you take a look like each one of them separately, let me, let me do a little bit like this so you can see everything. Okay, so if you take a look each of these examples, every time it says what value W has it, or what value P has it, or what value T has it, okay? Every time we need to figure out what variable is equal to this time. On the evaluating expression, they gave us what is the variable is equal to, but solving equation, what is the variable is equal to, okay? So in that case, we need to use the equation. So equation says like, uh, what minus, I'm gonna write it down, what minus eight is equal to two. So we need to figure out what number comes inside of parentheses. So I think it's very obvious, like 10 minus eight is two, right? So that means variable V, is equal to 10, okay? So we need to figure out what is the variable is equal to, like in solving equations. On the next one, let's take a look at this example. So it says four multiplied by what number will be equal to 36? So you need to think about four times what is 36? And that would become nine. Four times nine is 36. So if you try to match each one of them, four is, fee, uh, four is four, P is like the number inside of parentheses, which is nine, okay? So your answer would be P is equal to uh, nine, okay? For the last one, it's a bit of challenging one. Uh, you have to be very careful in this one. It says uh, T divided by two minus 13 is equal to negative 12. It's a challenging one. Don't worry about them. Like if you cannot see the answer right away, uh, we will learn this, how to find uh, this kind of, uh, like how to solve this kind of equations later. Just, I wanna show you like sometimes equation can be like th in this way. So a number, because T is divided by two and subtracted 13 is equal to negative 12. So we need to figure out what number comes inside of parentheses. So I'll give you the answer this time. Don't worry about it. So that would become two because Two divided by two, that would become one, okay? So one minus 13, if you use your calculator, uh, that will become uh, equal to negative 12, okay? So the value for T, so T is equal to two, oops, okay? So this kind of solving equation practices that we will be doing uh, from this point, okay? And let's move on. 
this is about solving equation or meaning of uh, solution of an uh, a little bit more uh, after this uh, review okay so if you guys still remember like we do daily uh, one uh, ix like benchmark type question uh, it's because uh, when you when the benchmark comes you will see one of uh, one of this kind of uh, uh, questions in your benchmark so uh, when you have uh, options like a a b c d uh, like in a multiple choice, uh, solving equation is actually very easy. You just need to plug in and confirm it. For example, my equation is like one equation I have. So one of these X value is satisfies this equation. So you can solve this, this technique. Like every time uh, write it down that equation without variable, like variable, keep, keep it empty. And plus uh, 78 .2 equal to, is this really equal to like equal to like two, uh, 287? So now we're gonna plug in one by one, all of these options and see which one is satisfies. But if you go in this technique, you have to be a little bit faster. Okay, so every time uh, for A, B, C, we're gonna check all of them. And let me write it down like this and I'll use my, uh, you can get the answer quickly. So this is the plugging in technique. Uh, first one is, we need to put like x equal 104.4, so 104.4, and see if, if the result is 287. So it was a 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times 104.4 plus 78.2, 78.2. And that is 130.4. And it's not equal to 100, uh, 287. So A, it's not the option. So now I'm going to go, go B. So let's see if when we plug in instead of X, like 417.6, we're going to end up 287. So I'm going to use my calculator again, 0 0.4 times plus 78.2. And that is 200. 87. Okay, I got it. So now this is equal to a result, which is yes, we're right. So that means our answer would be B. So when you get the answer, you don't have to check the, the others because others will definitely be the different one. Okay, so yes, uh, this is 